Hello learners, uh, welcome to our session today. Recall, in our last class, we had introduced the concept of a standard error of estimate. And also, we went ahead and uh, talked about the concept of a coefficient of determination. To cement this concept, I want us to handle an illustration question. This illustration question will open our mind wide when it comes to the concept of standard error of estimates. And recall, we mentioned that for us to determine our standard error of estimate, I must always be given, or if not given, you must, you must always determine your regression line. So this is a question that I want us to handle, which will cement our concept when it comes to the standard error of estimate. And this is our question, which I'm going to share with us here and see in that event what will you be required to do. So the question is a uh, illustration question number one, where in that case we are told that compute standard error of the model of a Y cup is equal to 50 plus 0 0.3 X for the following data, for the following data, for the following data, and the data that I'm given, that is the data that I'm given below there. So in this case, my good students, at any given point, if we are to deal with a standard error, what you must always tend to have at the back of your mind is that we must have the regression and a regression line. We must have the regression. We must have the regression line. So going through that question, we need to have our values here where at that point we know very well for us to determine our standard error. This is what we must always tend to consider. We must always talk about the explained or rather unexplained variances. We divide by the degree of freedom. And this is what we are saying that we had it earlier on. We are talking of explained unexplained variances. That is actual cost minus expected cost. That is summation, we square. We are going to divide by the concept of degree of freedom, n minus k. Remember, this is what we did in our first class when we introduced the aspect of uh, the standard error and coefficient of determination. Never forget to do what? Never forget to square root. Never forget to square root. So that is what you should always be having at the back of our mind. Now, the moment you do have that case, my good students, this is what you are going to do. This is what you are going to do. This is what you are going to do. After we do have that case, this is what you are going to do. We are going to have the data values given in our question there, which I'm having X. We have Y. X, we should be talking of 800. 1200, I'm given uh, 400, and we do have 1600. Y, I'm having 350, 350, 150, and talk of 550. That is what you should be having. So, what about our Y cup? Our Y cup, always recall that to determine our y cap, we must always take our regression line. We must always take our regression line. So right now, allow me to remove this question. So now we must always have our regression line. And the good thing is that the examiner had given us our regression line, which was in the form of 50 plus 0.3x. 50 plus 0.3x, 50 plus 0.3x. So how will you determine that? That would be very simple, my good students, because this is what you are going to do. This is what you are going to do. We are going to take my y curve to be 50 plus 0.3 times our x, which in this case my x is 800. So that should give us how much? 290. We should be talking of 50 plus 0 0.3 times 1200, which is our X, 
that should give us 410 50 plus 0 0.3 we multiply by 400 that should give us 170 50 plus 0 0.3 we multiply by 1600, that should give us 530. Why cap? Uh -huh. My main area of interest, what we need to do, we need to determine our unexplained variance, which you should be talking of y minus y cap squared. So like in the first scenario here, we should be talking of my y, which is 350, minus 290, then we square that. So in that context, what should we be having? We should be talking of 350 minus 290. We square that to give us 3,600, right? So in this case, I'm having 3,600. The second bit, we should be talking of 350 minus 290 we square to give us 3600 the same concept to the other one y 150 minus this is a this is a 410 sorry this is a because we are talking of 410 this is 410 that is 410 that is 410 because you are talking of y so you should be talking of 350 minus 410 we square that should give us 3600 still 150 minus 170 150 minus 170 we square that one that should give us 400 uh-huh talk about the other component here where we are going to talk of 550 minus 530 we square that should give us 400 550 minus 530 we square of course that should give us the 400 so that if we sum it up what will we be having 3600 plus 3600 plus 800 of course that should give us 8000 we do have our standard error, therefore, we should be talking of 8,000. We divide by n number of data values, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of data value is 4 minus our constant. Our constant, remember this equation of ours, y is equal to a plus bx, where in this case, my constant, I'm having a and we have b. So our constant, we have 2. Then don't forget square root. So that should give us a figure of 8,000. We divide by 2. Determine the square root of that to give us 63.25. So therefore, my standard error, we should be talking of 63.25. So that is how we are supposed to determine our standard error. That is how we are supposed to determine our standard error. Our standard error given a simple question as that what you must always tend to have at the back of your mind is that we must always have our regression line because that is what will lead us or guide us to determine our that is what will guide us to determine our average our average or rather our our expected expected cost that is what will ex uh, assist us to determine our expected cost now what if we are asked also to determine the coefficient of determination? Remember, we looked at uh, the analysis of variances. Remember, we've looked at analysis of variances. So therefore, to determine our R squared, we are going to take, of course, our unexplained variance, which in that case, we should be talking of Y minus Y cap squared of course that is summation we know very well that i'm going to divide by total sum of square that is our total 
variances, which in this case, recall, we must always talk of what? Y minus Y bar squared. Y minus Y bar squared. The question will be, how will you determine your average cost? Because Y bar here stands for the average cost. And that is what we had looked at in our last class. Y bar stands for our average cost. So in simple term here, to determine our standard error of estimate, or rather to determine our R squared, we must have our Y average cost. And average cost, what will we be having? We need to sum up our total cost here. Which in this case, my total cost, which is Y, we should be talking of 350 plus 350 plus 150 plus 550 to give me a figure of 1400. That is our total cost. So average, we are going to take 1400, we divide by 4 to give us our average. That should give us 350. So to make it very simple, what you are going to do, my good students, I'll come here and have y minus average cost we square. What should we have? My y is 350. Average cost is 350. Then we square. y is 350. Average squared is three. Average cost is three fifty. We square. Y is one fifty. Average cost is three fifty. Then we square. Y is here. Y is uh, five fifty. Average cost is three fifty. Then we square that one. So the first two that should give us zero zero. 200 square, that should give us, uh, is it 40,000? 40, 40,000, 200 squared. So that in total, we should be talking of 80,000, right? And you know very well that for us to determine our R squared, we should be talking of an explained variance, which is 8,000. We divide by the total variance, which is 80,000. So therefore, we will be talking of 8,000 divided by 80,000 to give us 0 0.1. So this will be our coefficient of determination. Coefficient of determination. So basically, these are very simple uh, questions that you are supposed to do to give us the whole idea of what standard error. So what you must always have in mind is that for us to determine our standard error, Always recall that we must have our regression line. The next question that you're going to do, we are not given our regression line. It was upon us to determine our regression line. Whereas for R squared, also recall that alternatively, if you want to go on it on another case, R squared, what you need to do is just to determine your correlation coefficient or coefficient of correlation where we normally tend to talk of n summation of x, y, minus summation of x, summation of y. We are going to divide all this, my good students, by what? Recall, we are going to divide all that by aspect of uh, n summation of x squared minus summation of x, we square this one, right? We multiply by summation of y squared minus summation of y, we square this one. Then you must not forget what? You must not forget your square root on that. Then we need r squared. So for r squared, this because this one will give us what? This one will give us our r. So to determine your r, to determine your coefficient of determination, we just square this that of ours. So all of this, the answer that I'm going to have, I'm going to do what? To square that. That should give us what? Our R 
squared. That should give us our r squared. Remember this concept, you had looked at it. The beauty part of it is that we had looked at this concept. So, in our next class, my good students, what we are going to do is a scenario where I am not given regression line. And this will be the next question that we'll be doing. Illustration question number two will be our next question. Illustration question number two will be our next question that we will be required to, to do. So to that point, thank you so much. And let us meet in our next class. Let us meet in our next class as we'll be handling this. Thank you.